Hello children, so I am back again with a new video for you all and in this video we are going to discuss about one more natural region of the world that is Taiga region. Okay, and Taiga region as we all know it very well that it is also called as a Siberian type climatic region and uh, as we proceed with this video before that I want to remind you once again do share the link of this video with your friends and your classmates and don't forget to subscribe the channel okay and as you subscribe the channel press the bell icon also so that you will get further notifications regarding the any video if it is uploaded in the channel now let's start with the taiga region first of all as we discuss about the taiga region uh, you will find children first as we discuss about the location of it okay the latitudinal uh, area what it covers especially it is found in the northern hemisphere only and within what latitudes it lies between almost 55 degrees to 70 degrees right in the northern hemisphere and uh, as we start moving towards the pole you will find the conditions become more severe right the temperature conditions become more severe it's extremely cold so the effect we can find over the vegetation also in the southernmost part of it when we um, take the margins of this uh, taiga region you will find comparatively the people are more involved in other activities also like uh, you can say a few areas you'll find the agriculture is also done right but as we move towards the northern side you'll find the entire area a vast stretch of land is covered with dense evergreen coniferous forest something different from the earlier regions what we have discussed in uh, especially the tropical and temperate regions and all as well as equatorial region so now what is this coniferous forest this is actually having all the coniferous trees and uh, these trees are known for the soft wood right they have a soft wood and this soft wood is basically used to um, get a very good a very fine quality uh, paper out of it right so the main uh, uses and all these we are going to discuss afterwards as we proceed further in this video okay now first of all region wise if we cover suppose between i said just now in the earlier part that between 55 to 70 degrees in the northern hemisphere around that right around 55 degrees it starts and it ends till 70 degrees and there you know as it ends uh, it uh, rather uh, not to say it ends it merges with the tundra region and there the tundra region starts as you know we cannot draw a clear cut line that before that line it is taiga region and after that line it is just tundra region it's not possible okay so there is a almost a transitional zone where you will find the taiga region ends right the features of taiga region end there and uh, that is the zone where you will find the features of now tundra region starts okay so that is around 70 degrees or so clear the around you can say it's arctic circle 66 and half degrees to 70 degrees that is the range where you will find this uh, transition take place okay now if we talk about the area wise distribution suppose in the entire world if you see in the let's uh, let me show you the map first in this map you will find that in north america right in the north america entire stretch of land starting from extreme west okay from extreme western side that is from uh, southern alaska this is alaska the southern part of alaska and it stretches towards the eastern side covering the southern parts of canada okay the vast area is under the taiga belt leaving this part let's move to eurasia in eurasia also you'll find from extreme western side it starts and as we move towards uh, extreme western side means in europe if you take finland 
okay northern parts of russia sweden then uh, some parts of norway taking these as we move towards the eastern side in asia it covers almost uh, you can say northern siberia sakhalin islands and till the, the kamchatka peninsula right till here you will find the entire region is coming under this taiga belt okay now this is important especially because this vast stretch of land is fully covered with forested area okay and that is also what type it is totally coniferous type of forest so when we say that uh, taiga region is extending it's it's uh, just found in the northern hemisphere only right in uh, not the not in the southern hemisphere at all what may be the reason for that it is mainly because of you know the narrowness of the southern continents in those high latitudes what within what range this region is found suppose between 55 to 70 degrees so within that range if you see within those latitudes in the southern hemisphere the either no major landmass is present or if it is present then also only the narrow tip of the uh, these continents are there so this is again one of the reason why this particular type of uh, region cannot be seen very clearly in the southern hemisphere now let's talk about the uh, climate of this area now in in the taiga region as we have seen the latitudes within what latitudes it it uh, lies so accordingly we can understand very clearly that this is a region where a long a very severe cold winters are there winters are very cold and severe winters are experienced and it's a you can say the temperature in this region falls a uh, very low right it it goes very low and as we talk about the uh, suppose the summer conditions during summers you'll find summers are not even warm or hot summers it is uh, rather instead of saying warm summers it is cool right it is cool summers and during the summer months especially uh, first of all summer is a very short duration summer season okay moreover this summer season a uh, very short duration it is almost 3 to 4 months duration is there okay and during this summer season you will find short period of time is there so during this period the precipitation which occurs that is mainly in the form of rainfall okay but if you see the winter season during winters if the precipitation occurs that is mainly in the form of snowfall right because of very low temperature conditions the snowfall occurs and as the snowfall occurs as i told you just now that the winters are very long okay for maximum period of the year the winter season uh, remains there in in this region so if winters are very long naturally the snowfall occurs for long period of time right so because of that due to such temperature and climatic conditions you can see all over vegetation has developed according to such conditions right you can say the vegetation has adapted according to such environment and because of this only the trees which are found in the forests which uh, actually we are talking of here that is the taiga uh, forest this forest has got all the trees belonging to the coniferous type conical shaped trees are there and uh, you can see very clearly in the picture which is shown here right the trees basically why they have uh, got this shape because if the uh, trees are conical in shape right if the trees are suppose they have got uh, uh, conical shape so if the snowfall occurs what will happen the snow will slide easily down the the branches of the tree okay so uh, in that case there will be no chance of uh, snow remaining there over the branches if take the other condition suppose any of the trees which are found in these areas suppose tropical regions or the uh, equatorial regions right in these areas especially the trees which are found are shady trees clear if these shady trees are seen in uh, these taiga region and there maximum time the snowfall occurs so what will happen 
the snow will not be able to slide down easily it will remain there for long over the branches of the tree that will harm the trees then so accordingly you will find that as the temperature or rainfall or whatever precipitation type or surrounding environment whatever type of uh, conditions are there according to that the vegetation also adapt itself right the best example one of such things you can see here also now besides this uh, if we talk about the rainfall conditions uh, yes just now i said that during summer season the brief very short summer season is there and during that summer season if precipitation occurs that is mainly in the form of rainfall okay so what is the range to what level the rainfall is received basically from 25 to 100 cm of rainfall is received in this area so it is also not very much but still it is sufficient for keeping this entire uh, dense forested area as it is right now next thing is that during winters especially a uh, few winds uh, like uh, blizzards this is something very important to be mentioned here blizzards buran these are the winds which blow during the winter season okay and these winds blow these winds are very chill and they actually uh, cause the temperature to fall greatly during that time when these blow so this is about the entire climatic condition of this uh, taiga region now next is about the vegetation as i said just now in the earlier part that mainly the natural vegetation includes the coniferous forest so the entire area if it is covered with dense forested um, you can say coniferous forest um, or the softwood trees so this can have what type of adaptation um, uh, in the people who are living there before we start with it let me tell you the names of all the trees especially a few just a few names i am telling you like spruce cedar pine okay larch these are the trees mainly which are um, hemlock okay these are the trees found in the taiga region now if these trees are found these are mainly used for furniture making okay number one use is ba basically paper making very fine quality paper is produced by the softwood which we are getting from these trees okay so mainly you will find the industries are found in these areas which are based on this wood only and the industries are related to the paper making then furniture making okay then next is for it is also used a lot in those areas locally for the uh, construction purpose so these are the main uses of the wood what we get from these softwood trees besides this if you take uh, the adaptation regarding the human adaptations if we are talking of in such uh, an environment the people who are living there first of all the population is very sparse okay because of such uh, cold conditions extreme cold conditions you will find the the population is very less in those areas okay number one second thing is that the people who are living there these people are mainly uh, involved in these activities only which are related to the forest right now what type of activities these uh, this is mainly called as lumbering okay cutting of logs from these softwood trees and collecting all that and uh, sending all the logs through the rivers to the various mills okay this entire process is called lumbering okay which is a very important occupation of the people in uh, canada large number of people are following this okay and the people who are involved in this activity are called lumberjacks clear what happens you know during winter season long winter season is there and during that season you will find most of the rivers get frozen so when these people they cut the logs right logs of wood from the trees they just collect all the logs and they carry these logs somehow to the rivers the frozen rivers and over the frozen river they just collect all the logs all together and when these rivers during that short summer season the rivers start melting right the the ice which is there that starts melting and that river starts flowing now again and as the rivers flow 
they carry all these logs down the uh, towards the you can say the various uh, mills which are actually uh, situated on the bank of these rivers okay so uh, downstream they carry all these logs to and uh, there uh, the mills uh, are placed and from the mills the people take all these logs from the rivers okay so this is how they they utilize the natural source you can say the rivers they use it in this manner as a transportation means okay so this is how the people also adapt themselves according to such conditions so this is one thing second thing is that uh, besides uh, the lumbering activities and all in the beginning only i mentioned one more thing that towards the margin if you see the map here right towards the margin of these uh, especially the uh, the taiga region right you will find these are the areas where the temperatures are comparatively a little higher so in these areas to some extent you will find that the people are in uh, involved in some agricultural activities also okay now uh, what type of agricultural activities these people mainly uh, grow a few crops like uh, barley oats potato then beetroots these are the main crops or the wheat also right wheat also uh, that is also of short duration that means uh, which grows within a short period of time so all these crops are uh, grown by the people in these areas so this is all regarding the taiga region in the next video we are going to meet again and uh, again i will be coming with the informations related to the tundra region so till then bye